Welcome to a brand new video and welcome to the channel. This is my YouTube channel and in this on this platform I try to show you transparency, try to teach you, try to share my experiences and yeah, share where I'm at and what I'm learning, what I'm doing and currently I'm with this video I'm busy with a series of just sharing the London session that I trade, the time frame that I trade. Um, I found that that helps me something that helps me to not over trade is to limit myself to just a set period of set, set period of time and to only focus on trading in that time session in that time period and to have specific rules for my entries and my trades so i, I don't think the way i trade will be unfamiliar to most of you this is more of an advanced video so not necessarily for beginners I am in the process, in the works of creating a beginner session, just like a shortcut um, in short. Basically, just an introduction. Everything everything that you'll find on Baby Pups and on the internet, I'm just gonna, going to attempt to package it and make it easy, easier accessible in a video format. So it's not going to be revolutionary, but I think it will be something that will help a lot of new traders. I think it's definitely something that I wish I had when I just first started out trading, learning about trading. Because um, I think there's a lot of content out there on YouTube for trading, but not necessarily that much good explanations and value for new new traders, um, for those that just starting out. Anyway, that's for another day. Today, I'm gonna look at EU and GU for today's, today's last London session, which is the 17th of May. So halfway through the month of may definitely looking to see some more good price action going through the rest of the year i think june will be a nice month may has already proven to be a great month um, so let's jump to the charts and then we will see what today provided so here we are on gu so right off the bat this does not look like much but there's a lot happening there happen a lot so let's just put this on and i'll walk you through it so let's have a look at it so i'm not going to go through the top down analysis that's more my personal approach and what are the strategy that we trade so i'm not going to divulge everything but i'm going to share a few valuable things that no one shared with me and i think you will find some value in this or well, i hope so basically I marked out the London session that I trade, which I do from 7 from seven a.m. in the morning, GMT plus 2, you can see, or UTC plus 2, up until 11 around there. So I mark out my agent highs and my agent lows, actually there. And I look at price in this area. So usually I would want to see price sweep the lows of agent session. And then see a continuation towards the upside but in this case we had this impulse towards the upside breaking the structure so we had a structure break on this side so we can annotate that as a structure break and then price started training consolidating correcting towards the downside and then this is then where we <clears throat> really get the sense of what happened so we created this series of trend line liquidity on the one minute and then just before Frankfurt open, which is my 8 a.m. as shown by this line, we had a big push towards the downside into this area of supply and demand that we have over here, which is typically on the lower time frames. I think I used that candles, which is on the lower time frames, then an area that down candle before the up movement that broke structure. So there's our structure break. And that's where we got the um, order block supply and demand level from. Price tap into that area, and then we had the big push towards the upside. So I missed this trade um, because I only started looking at price at Frankfurt Open at 8 a.m. to this morning. And then I'm not necessarily going to be just jump into a trade if I'm that's going to be just jumping into a speeding trade. It's going to be like a FOMO trade. So I didn't take that trade. But have to be patient. Price started pushing towards the upside. Then we had London open. 
still nothing for me and then we had price come back down quite aggressively down into this sell to buy so what basically sell to buy is it's just a series of down candles before the big up up movement more of this in our course but basically price came tapped the 50 percent of that area and then we saw a reaction so now my interest is peaked now i want to see what's going to happen and i'm looking for possible entries or possible um trading opportunities we had this big impulse towards the upside we had a shift in structure so we started creating <clears throat> higher lows again push towards the upside which broke this high and then we had this corrective move towards the downside complex pullback correction indication trend is still more bullish type over there so we're still more bullish so this would be then a pro trend demand zone because on high time frames we are bullish so there was a lot of potential going into a long trade from this area so that, this is the trade that i ended up taking price tap into our area a stop loss was about three pips 2.9 i think it was yeah, it was just below this low somewhere around there and then i targeted just 20 pips which gave us 7.69 take profits so i just targeted this is a supply and demand area on the one minute and i'll show you just took that big up candle off before the big down movement as my candle of supply and then that was the trade we had a bit of a reaction over here and then price started trading towards the downside so over there from from that point this was actually already a bit out of my time window you see this happened like 40 minutes after the time window but the opportunity looked so good i couldn't not take it when we get here i'm not interested in the trade anymore there's probably something and a reason for the trade but at this point in time i'm not interested in it anymore so i'm basically just interested in this this price action on from the five minute to one minute each day so that is basically what i was looking for then the next thing i'll quickly look at eu let's jump to eu and again i start the chart off by showing you a blank chart and then i want to show you the marked up chart and everything will start to make sense more again we had our, we have our london session marked out this one's wrong again and then we also have our asian session marked out over here which is then the high and this was a nice one because of price um sweeping the asian lows so we have the clean sweep of the asian lows so we know if you know liquidity you know liquidity is formed there's liquidity behind below above and below the asian high and low that's basically just what i was looking at at here we have some equal lows price dips into that equal lows grabs liquidity and then we start to see this price shifting we have this last attempt at grabbing liquidity below this area so if you drag this out you can see we have price grabbing the liquidity behind this area and then we are starting to make new structure push pullback massive push towards the upside breaking the structure so usually i would then be looking for price to come down to <coughs> this area to take a long from that did not happen and we should now read price going going forward see what price is doing and how it's developing then we had this area that is an ugly box let's just change that we had this area of demand price came back into it perfectly tapped it's a few guys in our community that took this trade which was very nice 1.5 pip stop loss and just targeting 5r it's our like our golden nice ratio that was that area and then looking again at this candle over here as our second demand zone price failed to reach it you can see with this wick price just just missed it but again another nice area to take along from price reached up created some equal highs and then we had this corrective move towards the downside price tapping down into this area <clears throat> once again grabbing orders over here and then we had a clean push towards the upside breaking this structure so this is all evidence that we are still bullish and then the trade entry got in was over here 
in this area and that I think was a two minute a two minute area of supply of demand which price came in to tap into it played a bit in this area and then moved all the way up to the Asian high supply level that we have over here <clears throat> so very nice very high probable probability trades what was it two minutes three minutes one anyway this was the high so this is the trade i only took the gu trade but i want to show you what i do every day i mark up these sessions and i mark up um the london session and this is how i train my eyes and how i develop that that sense for my strategy and my edge and how i trade we had some more opportunities going up but after the London session ended for me at 11 when I stopped trading I'm not looking at it anymore I'm not interested in any more trade setups if I didn't get anything there I'm done and done for the day so this is my setups um, the chart markups for London session today 17th of May pause the screen make some notes go to your own screen go into your own charts and mark it out and see apply your own edge apply your own strategy and see how you would have taken this trade there's a lot of lot more going lot more going into this and a lot more that i can speak about but um for this platform that is what i would like to say and i do think that you can find a lot of value in this and please do comment like subscribe tell me what you want to see more of um, i have a few plans going ahead i am just a bit stressed for time uh, we just got a new a baby he's now two months old and he's keeping us busy so life is not as easy <laughs> as it used to be so making time for everything is quite a challenge but thank you for still being here if you watch till the end and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you liked it and yes i will try to do another one later this week i won't be able to do each one every day Maybe going forward, I have a schedule for one Wednesdays and Fridays. Then from Wednesday, I cover Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And Friday, I'll cover Tuesday and Fridays, price action. Or Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, London session, price action. Maybe later on, if there was a good New York session, maybe cover that as well. But this video is getting along now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And see you in the next one.